A man in the northeastern Chinese city of Dalian in Liaoning province has dedicated most of his life to photography, black and white photos to be exact. From shooting, fixing and developing films, the 80-year-old Zhuang Xianbing is one of the few who is repairing the nostalgic images by hand. His customers say Zhuang is helping put together their broken memories. One rarely feels the passing of time in Zhuang Xianbing's workshop. The 30-square-meter room has given birth to countless black and white photos, lucky enough to gain a second life. I started to repair photos before retiring from a studio. At the beginning, I only restored pictures for acquaintances. I opened my own studio after retiring because I really wanted more people to learn about traditional film and photo restoring technologies. Zhuang started learning photography at the age of 18. He later became one of the best photographers in Dalian during the 1980s. In 2001, he got his own studio and started to repair broken photos and gave color to old black and white ones. Grace paints and watercolors are the regular ingredients, while ink brushes and watercolor pens, as well as bamboo spikes, are Zhuang's tools of choice in bringing old memory back to life. One of the pieces which Zhuang is proud of is a group photo of a young boy and his adopted mother. When the young boy in the picture came to Zhuang, he was already 60 years old. He said that was the only photo he took together with his adopted mother and was one of the most precious memories left between them. The photo was very difficult to repair. As you can see, the face of the young boy is completely blurred. I needed to relocate his facial features according to what he looks like at the time. After repairing it, he said he was quite satisfied with his adoptive mother's face. Most of drone's technologies have to be used on films. But with many of the films out of the market, it can be quite difficult for him to find the raw materials he needs. And of course, his work is challenged by modern technology, such as photo editing software and other programs. Yes, computer software is quite convenient, but it's only a tool. It still needs to be controlled and operated by humans. Talking about the technology to repair portraits, a person's face is very complex. The repairman needs to have enough knowledge about the human skeletal structure and the changes to light and shade. How long Zhuang's craft continues is uncertain. He has had many apprentices, but most of them only know how to give color to black and white pictures and none have mastered the traditional way of repairing photos. Most young people do not have the patience. I know traditional photo repairing technology may disappear in future, but I still feel I have the responsibility to promote it. The 80-year-old is suffering from poor eyesight and hearing, but he says he still loves repairing old photos for people. Because although the technology may one day disappear, he says the photographs he repairs become memories and live on through the people they serve. Yu Yang, CGTN, in Dalian, Liaoning Province.